Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar. And here's a brand new halacha for you. And it's for Thursday, the 13th day of January. Here we go. Today's halacha, as promised yesterday, is about the idea of how in some yeshivas, they don't repeat the Chazaras Hashats. That's the repetition of the Shemona Esrei in the yeshiva at Mincha. And the question is why they do that. Well, one famous reason is because since it's a yeshiva and everybody's involved in the learning of Torah, if they were to have a long repetition of the Shemona Esrei, let's say it adds like five minutes to the Mincha, that's five minutes of a couple hundred people not learning Torah, and that would be a great loss of Torah learning, and therefore they would actually schedule no repetition of the Shemona Esrei at Mincha so that they would save and have uh, five more minutes of learning for the entire yeshiva. That's one reason given, although some people question whether that's a valid reason. Another reason given is because sometimes Mincha was done right after the boys of the yeshiva had a long, long speech, a uh, complicated Gemara speech from their Rosh yeshiva, from their leader, and it was so complicated that they were all very, very um, deeply in thought about it after the shir and wouldn't be able to concentrate on the repetition of the Shemona Esrei because their mind would wander into the complexity of the lesson that they had just learned, and for that reason, um, some people had instituted that they would not hear the repetition of Shon Esrei and therefore it should not be said. Another reason given is because uh, the repetition of the Shemona Esrei was mostly instituted for shoals where there would be a few people who wouldn't know how to repeat or, or say the Shemona Esrei, and the repetition would be their chance to hear it and answer Amen to it at least. That would not happen in the yeshiva because the yeshiva uh, has all these learned people. Okay, that would be a, a reason that would apply to all the repetitions of Shimon Esrei in the yeshiva if we would follow that last one. But that that reason cannot apply to Shachris because there's an overarching principle, very strong one that we must follow, which is that we must say the words Ga'al Yisrael attached to our Shimon Esrei and uh, at Shachris. And that's only going to happen if we do it in the regular setup way, not without this trick reversed way. And therefore at Shachris it was unquestioned, unquestionable we weren't going to institute such a way. But this is the explanation, one of three possible reasons for why some yeshivas will actually recite the Mincha without the repetition of Shemona Esrei. Interestingly, a lot of these yeshivas won't do that Bain Hasmanim, meaning in the in-betweens when they're not in schedule, because then they have less of that reason of, oh, it's getting in the way of our Torah learning, because the yeshiva's on schedule during that short time. So a lot of those yeshivas will actually go back to our regular schedule during um, Mincha, when it's the kind of uh, summer schedule or whatever. So now you're more educated on this concept. It's called Hecha Kedusha. That's what some people call it. The loud the Kedusha, where you know it's said all aloud with the Chazan, as he says, the Shemona Esrei. But always check uh, before instituting anywhere that you want to, because as we've said, it's questionable how often you're allowed to actually use this. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.